Hey everybody, I'm Ashley Conrad, celebrity fitness trainer and owner of Clutch Body Shop Los Angeles. A few of my clients that you may recognize, such as Tay Diggs, Bradley Cooper, Kate Hudson. Today I'm going to be taking you through a ab routine that I used to get Bradley Cooper in Shape for A Team. Got him those nice eight pack abs. And we're going to be using Mr. Brandon Poe as our fitness expert, taking you through the routine, so enjoy. I'm going to have Brandon go through is the weighted jackknife. I like to start out with this exercise because it engages both the lower and upper abs as well as the serratus. The first exercises that I usually do with any workout are going to engage a large number of muscles so that you're already fatigued the first 30 seconds in because, you know, I love making people go into a little bit of pain. <laughs> so go ahead and lay back then. Okay, so I'm going to give Brandon the ball. And what he's going to do is he's going to bring it straight back. He's going to put his feet out and he's going to come up and the ball and his feet are going to meet at the top. Yep, perfect. Yep. So you're going to go through this until you can't lift your legs up anymore. I'm going to have him put his feet straight up at 90 degrees. So it's like a 90 degree crunch. The ball's gonna come to about right here, and he's just gonna come up and tap my hand while keeping his feet up. Good, so come up and tap my hand. What this exercise does is by keeping the legs up, you're engaging your lower abs, and then I'm having him come up with the ball, which is also, you know, blasting the upper abs. So you get that great definition. Make sure you're keeping your head. I only want his head coming to about right here, and then back up to avoid neck injury, and to make sure that it's just the abs that are firing. He's not using any momentum. The legs are starting to come down. Good, so that's the failure. Now what we're gonna do is he's gonna go into a basically a weighted bicycle. So the first thing that's gonna happen is he's going to come up with the ball, like he's gonna do a crunch. So about right up here, good. So the upper abs are engaged. Now he's just gonna do a simple bicycle, bringing the knees way in. What this is gonna do is it's gonna get right into the serratus. It's those kind of lines that are hard to get that people always ask, oh, how do I get these abs? This is a great exercise for that. So just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing with the ball. Bringing the knees in. Great for the obliques. He's gonna hold on to the bench for stabilization. I'm gonna have him bring his feet straight up. And this exercise is hard to explain unless you do it. It gets really deep into your abs. So what I'm gonna have him do is bring his legs all the way up and he's just gonna tap. He's gonna go from here, so straight up 90 degrees. You don't wanna cheat and go this way or that way, so you're gonna stay right there. He's just gonna come straight up and tap my hand. So just pushing straight up through the hips. You feel that? You feel it through the entire core area. Good. So you can see that his legs, let's give him a rest. What happens is, is when your legs start to fall this way or this way, you're not engaging the way that you should. So the goal is to keep your legs straight up and down and push just straight up. The second you feel yourself cheating, give yourself a little, you know, couple seconds rest and try and go right back into it. First, raise up. There we go. Okay. Engage. Okay. Good. Now opposite arm, opposite leg. There we go. Good. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Good. Then you're gonna pop up. So you're gonna, yep, push yourself up. There. Good. Now you're gonna bring it in. So don't shift down. Stay right where you are. The only thing that's moving is your leg. So keep this totally solid. Good, bring it out, good. Good, and then you're going back down. Good. So you wanna stay strong through here. You do not want your abs sinking down. That's what's gonna put pressure on your lumbar. Getting back up, stay strong through here. Good, and then back down. Good. What we're gonna do is he's gonna go all the way to the end of the room, and then I'm gonna have him turn around, but. Turning around for me does not mean coming out of position. I want to keep the abs engaged. Again, we're not resting. So go ahead, Brandon. He's going to come to the end. Come all the way out here. Come all the way out to like right, Brian. Good, then you're just going to kind of hold yourself in place and turn yourself around. There we go. So once Brandon flips around, I'm going to have him transition into the next exercise, which is an army crawl. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to keep his abs, you can see with a shirt, his abs are going to stay up, his knees are going to hit the ground, and his feet are going to go out. So his 
calves are pretty much serving as a dead weight. Then what he's gonna do is he's gonna really extend that elbow out and pull himself across the floor. What this is gonna do is it's gonna keep the abs engaged and as well really bring in the serratus and even the lats. So this is a great finisher anytime you're, I mean at the end of a, of a back routine, if you really wanna get into the lats as well, it kind of doubles as that. So go ahead, Brandon, I want you to show him. There we go. So you can see the legs are really holding him back, so he's really having to pull and use his abs to bring himself across the floor. Brandon is, as you can see, on the ball, but um, he's going to do a crunch, but he's going to add into it a, f a weighted fly. And what this is going to do is not only work that kind of crunch motion, but also bring in all those great side muscles which I love to isolate because that's, you know, you can have these guys, but everybody wants to be shredded through here. So this exercise is great for that. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna extend his arms out and he's gonna come up and end about right there. So he's coming up and out and up there. Control it, good, breathe, good. Perfect, right to there, don't uh, overextend. Good, good, try and come up a little higher right there. Good, can you feel that? Good. <laughs> so you don't have to use weights, obviously, uh, if this is too difficult. Um, you're more than, I mean, especially if you're at the end of a routine, body weight is just fine. You'll still feel that. And you're just going to finish off with a very isolated crunch. Keep your chin down. Yeah, now come up to my hands. Good. And back down, right there. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Keep that chin tucked. Good. This just bl this just burns out the abs. You'll feel them seizing up. Get that great, those great hard lines. Good. So you want to keep your hands right on your thighs. You don't want them coming up. Good, right there. And then straight to me. There. <laughs> there we go. Don't let your hand come if we go back. Good. Good. Relax. That's different. Yeah, that's different. It's For different sure. when you keep those little those hands that down. So that's, it's that sl slight change in angle that makes all the difference. Again, you're going to circuit this five times. This workout shouldn't take you any longer than 20 to 30 minutes. Um, again, intensity, intensity, intensity. There are no rests during this circuit. When you do these abs and you use the weights at the end of whatever muscle group you're doing, it just gets that extra bit after doing tries or chest or shoulders, the burn that you're going to feel in terms of not just your abs then, but also your arms, the definition, the tightness of that muscle. Certain exercises, if you're doing them correctly, so you can only get to like seven or eight, and if you're squeezing and holding and just focusing solely on the abs, you're not gonna use your arms or your legs or momentum to kind of be like, oh, I have to get to 50. I'll generally wait until, you know, the person cannot bring their legs up or they're at complete failure, then we'll rest, but not for long. One of the things that I recommend is, you might catch some heat because people think you're checking yourself out. You can kind of flip this bench like with a mirror here. Right. And so you can check your angles every so often to make sure that you're not cheating yourself. I see people do this at the gym all the time, doing push-ups or plank like this. They cheat the second they go to drop, this drops as well. So you're not engaged in your abs. And then what happens, people get home and they go, oh, why does my back hurt so bad? Well, because you're leaving your back totally exposed, so you always want to stay straight as a board. People tend to lock themselves into a machine. Me being a former athlete, we don't do just back to front. You know, you're having to move, you're having to twist, you're having to do all of these things. What tends to happen is if you've got your legs locked in and you're trying to twist and you're trying to do all these things, you can hurt your back because of your discs. Right. Unless your form is totally perfect, you've got your hip flexors totally engaged, you're not isolating here. When people think core, they think Pilates and girls want to have that. 
But for guys, powerlifting, getting getting your you know your bench press up, all your max weights up, core is essential. For more content like this, more ab routines, more exercises to get your body in killer shape, please visit bodybuilding.com. I'm celebrity trainer Ashley Conrad, and thank you for watching.